Usually, SpaceX takes its time after significant tests, like the recent Starship launches, to gear up for the next big step. But this time, it's a whole different story. Instead of waiting, SpaceX jumped straight into action, moving at a remarkable pace to prepare for Starship's Flight 6. They didn't waste a moment, and within days, Booster 13 was already on the launch mount for a high-powered static fire test. And here's the impressive part. All 33 Raptor engines fired up in a synchronized display of power, delivering exactly what SpaceX hoped for. In this video, we'll dive into all the details of this critical test, what it means for the next stage of the mission, and when we might see Flight 6 take to the skies. But before we go deeper, don't forget to subscribe for all the latest updates on Starship, SpaceX, and more groundbreaking achievements shaping the future of space exploration. Usually, SpaceX spends several months between Starship test flights, not because of technical constraints, but largely due to delays in receiving launch licenses. For example, there was a four-month gap between Starship's third and fourth flights from March to June 2024, and another several months before the fifth flight due to FAA licensing and environmental reviews. These requirements often lead to extended waiting periods, as agencies review public safety and environmental impact assessments associated with each launch. For Flight 5, the FAA finally approved the launch only a day before liftoff on October 13th. However, SpaceX caught a break with Flight 6. When approving Flight 5, the FAA also issued a dual license covering both Flight 5 and Flight 6. This means SpaceX can move ahead with Flight 6 as soon as they're ready, without waiting for an additional license review. This is why SpaceX has moved quickly in preparing for Starship's next flight test. Immediately after the monumental catch of Booster 12 by the Mechazilla Arms on October 13th, SpaceX worked quickly to lower the booster back onto the pad. Following the touchdown, SpaceX rapidly cleared the pad to prepare it for Booster 13, shifting their focus to evaluating Booster 12's systems and clearing the area to avoid delays. Booster 12 was safely moved from the launch site back to SpaceX's Mega Bay, where engineers conducted a post-catch inspection. This assessment focused on the booster's grid fins and Raptor engines to understand how each component held up during the catch, identifying any warping or wear that needed addressing. These findings would inform future upgrades to improve durability and performance in subsequent flights. By October 22nd, SpaceX was ready to bring Booster 13 to the launch pad. After Booster 13 was rolled out from the Mega Bay to the orbital launch mount, SpaceX quickly secured it in place. Engineers promptly removed the scaffolding and attached critical support structures like the chopstick arms and quick disconnect systems to enable safe and efficient fueling. Almost immediately, they began intensive system checks to ensure the booster was prepared for a static fire test. Road closures resumed and the area was cleared as SpaceX started fueling B-13 with liquid oxygen and methane. Notably, the fueling process showed improvements, with liquid oxygen loading more quickly than methane. During the static fire test of SpaceX's Booster 13, all 33 Raptor engines fired simultaneously, generating an immense estimated thrust of over 7,000 tons. This amount of force is close to what the booster would experience during an actual launch. The static fire test is crucial for confirming that the engines work as expected under full power conditions and that the infrastructure can handle the extreme forces produced. To keep B-13 securely in place during this high power test, SpaceX relied on the orbital launch mount at Starbase. The orbital launch mount is designed with reinforced clamps and support structures that anchor the booster firmly, preventing any upward movement that could occur due to the intense engine thrust. This anchoring system is essential because, without it, the sheer power of the engines would push the rocket upwards, potentially damaging the pad. Additionally, the test site has a water deluge system that activates just before ignition. This system sprays vast amounts of water around the pad, which absorbs the heat generated by the engines and reduces the extreme acoustic energy that could otherwise harm the launch infrastructure. This also cools the pad and prevents thermal damage from the exhaust flames, which is particularly important as the Raptor engines burn at extremely high temperatures. 
As SpaceX prepares for Starship's sixth test flight, extensive evaluations and upgrades are planned for Booster 13. The next steps for Starship include rigorous tests on B-13 to ensure improved performance during launch and landing. Post-test evaluations on B-13 will focus on the booster's engines and grid fins. They aim to reinforce the grid fins to withstand intense re-entry forces and address engine issues observed with Booster 12. Additionally, SpaceX is assessing whether to install a hot staging ring to improve the staging transition efficiency, based on insights gained from recent tests. For the upcoming Starship Flight 6, several critical pre-launch procedures are anticipated. These include a wet dress rehearsal, where both the booster and the upper stage will be loaded with propellants to simulate a real countdown sequence without ignition. This is an essential step to validate fueling systems, plumbing, and cryogenic performance under actual mission conditions. SpaceX will also likely conduct a series of more static fire tests, where B-13's engines will ignite briefly, while the rocket remains grounded. Another anticipated test is a full-stack cryogenic proof test. This involves stacking the Starship upper stage onto B-13 and filling both stages with cryogenic propellants to evaluate the rocket's structural integrity when fully fueled. This test aims to ensure that the entire vehicle, from the booster to the upper stage, can handle the immense stresses of launch. Following the cryogenic proof test, SpaceX engineers will review data and make adjustments if necessary, focusing on any observed stresses or weaknesses. SpaceX's development strategy also includes extensive analysis of the booster catching technique using the Mechazilla arms. The booster catching process remains experimental, but SpaceX views it as essential for enabling rapid reuse of the Super Heavy booster. In addition to booster testing, SpaceX will conduct evaluations on the Starship upper stage, which is expected to undergo heat shield upgrades and re-entry tests. Flight 6 will continue testing Starship's thermal protection system, which has been modified to withstand the extreme heat of re-entry better. Looking ahead, B-13's successful static fire sets the stage for a probable November test flight alongside Starship 31. The probable flight trajectory for Flight 6 will be similar to past missions, with a planned stage separation and a targeted re-entry phase for both the booster and upper stage. B-13 will lift off from SpaceX's Starbase facility in Boca Chica, Texas, with all 33 Raptor engines engaged to push Starship 31 towards its intended altitude. Shortly after reaching this altitude, B-13 and S-31 will separate, with the upper stage continuing its ascent to complete a partial orbit around Earth. Once the upper stage completes its planned trajectory, the Super Heavy booster will initiate a controlled descent back to the launch site, where SpaceX will attempt another precision catch using the Mechazilla arms. This approach is crucial to SpaceX's vision of creating a fully reusable rocket system, as catching the booster rather than relying on a splashdown recovery significantly reduces refurbishment time and costs, enabling faster turnaround for future flights. As for the Starship upper stage, SpaceX may aim to extend testing by simulating a controlled re-entry and descent back to the designated landing area, rather than allowing it to splash down in the ocean, as in previous flights. A controlled landing would bring SpaceX closer to the goal of recovering and reusing the upper stage, although this remains an ambitious objective requiring significant advancements in heat shield durability and re-entry stability. Engineers will carefully monitor heat shield performance and the structural integrity of the vehicle upon re-entry. Don't forget to check the link in the description to grab your own highly realistic Starship model. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you in the next video.